Gavin, it feels like an important 1-0 win, but it could have been 3 or 4. Yeah, um, when you say important, you know, so like teams in and around you, it's important to take points off them. And uh, yeah, we just want to keep mounting up them points. And I think um, tonight was always going to be a difficult, they're a very, very good side. Um, I just think we got it right on the night. I think um, in terms of game strategies, we got it right. And um, like you rightly say, you know, very dominant. Could have been three, four, maybe five. Um, yeah, not great for my ticker just to be uh, so stressed over there. Uh, but yeah, we held on in the end in terms of uh, keeping the one nil. You got that early goal, you know, which always helps, and it was a superb strike by Morgan Roberts. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant goal. Um, really well worked. And just you know, the front three were just absolute dynamite all night, weren't they? And um, all of the players, you know, there, there wasn't a performance in there that you could criticise. You know, we had a couple of words at half time because as patient and as brilliant as the lads were being, you know, I felt as though we could be a little bit more aggressive. Um, and I think they did that second half, culminating in a lot of chances. And, um, you know, we were excellent out of possession and just, yeah, we just couldn't get that second, third, fourth goal. But, um, listen, you know, to, to beat a team of Chorley's calibre, um, it, it, you know, in any way, you know, you take a one in against them because um, very, very good side. So it was great to, uh, to get a win. And to make it up towards the top of the table is going to take a, a good run from any team. Yeah. Good point away at War Warrington on Saturday and now great home win yeah. to build on that. We're just, we're just so capable, you know, when we look at that focus and concentration, when we bring that mentality, everything's there. You know, we feel like we're giving the players everything that they need and you know, I spoke a couple of games ago about how there's no, no excuses. You know, those reasons now would be excuses and... Um, I think they're I think they're gone now. I think like you know the players need to bring that level of concentration and focus. You know the game strategy was there. You know we, we're conditioning them really well, and it's um, it's on them just to have that elite mentality of turning up every single week. And we've got to go and follow it up against Farsley on Saturday now. Well, what, what do you say to the players, given that it could have been three or four, but it wasn't, and it just gave us all a nervy last five minutes, really? Yeah, we just we talk we talk about being very patient, um, and then in, in in our start play, and then relentless with it, and then just ruthless, you know, in both boxes. And um, I just think, on any other given season, you know, we could be top of the league, couldn't we? You know, in terms of chances and domination of games, um, there's not been many that we haven't felt like we could have come out with a win. So. Yeah, listen, it's, um, at the end of the day, it's the hardest thing to do is stick the ball in the back of the net. So, um, you know, we've got to be accountable for that. But, you know, it's a brilliant performance on it. any other night. I think it could have been three, four, five. But, um, look, like I say, Chorley are a very, very good side. They're up there taking points off them, regardless of whether it's one, two, three, four or five nil. You know, we take a one nil. It's, um, you know, we're very pleased with that. And, and, and the players are just, the focus is, again, just to really bite down on being ruthless in the box and making sure we convert chances and putting teams to bed. Different challenge then coming up on Saturday against Farsley. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk about this league, don't we? I mean, me and Andy Priest were talking at half-time about how crazy the league is. You know, it's just so tight, and you know, everybody beats everybody. You've seen some of the results again tonight. You know, so you just got to get that consistency, which I think we've been really. You know, we have been very consistent since the start of the year. A um, couple of really freak results, but other than that, I think you know, we've got like I say, we've got everything there that where we should be really competitive and hit the ground running. So. You know, Farsley are, again, a good side, you know, capable of, of winning games on their day. Um, and we, I just feel like if we're at our best, you know, we can make sure we can get the three points. But look, make no mistake, you've got to be at your best every single week in this league. And um, that's what we'll endeavour to do. And finally, then, really, we've sort of spoken about some of the chances and great goal for Morgan that in the end has won it. But it's a clean sheet and really can't remember a shot on goal by Chorley this evening. No, no, I, you know, I think we restricted them to one set piece. Um, don't think there was any, yeah, can't remember Danny making a save. Um, good take from him at the end there, you know, thought he was really commanding and dominating tonight without actually having to do much. Uh, but yeah, the defenders tonight were brilliant, you know, good captain us tonight and I thought he was immense. You know, Zach, Tyler either side of him, George, Ricardo, you know, and again, you know, you could keep going through the team but thought Shep and Tommy were just absolutely superb tonight, you know, so I know I've already give a special mention to the front three, but... You know, I think all over the park, that's what happens when everybody's totally committed, totally connected to what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, that's on the players and they're aware of that. And, and when they do it, you see what happens, you know, real dominant, brilliant win against, you know, real high quality opposition. It's been a good evening. Well done. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Thanks.